Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 172. That is, who is product owner? Let me answer. Product owner is a role in the projects which are following Agile Scrum methodology. Before you understand who is a product owner, we need to first understand about this Agile Scrum methodology at a high level. So let me explain. So in the Agile Scrum methodology following projects, the work will be performed in the form of sprints. Okay, sprints are nothing but iterations. Iteration 1, iteration 2, iteration 3, and so on. Okay, these are nothing but sprints. Sprint, another sprint. After this sprint is completed, next sprint will start. This is how the work will be done in the Agile Scrum methodology following projects. Okay, here each and every sprint is nothing but an iteration. Iteration 1, after that iteration 2, then iteration three, in the form of iterations, the work will be done in the Agile Scrum methodology following projects, where sprint will have a duration of one to four weeks, okay? One to four weeks of duration. In that time span, the work need to be completed by the end of the sprint. But before all these iterations or sprint starts, the work will start with the product owner, okay? Product owner will start the work in this Agile Scrum methodology following, following projects. The product owner is one of the role in this Agile Scrum methodology following projects where the product owner will create something known as user stories. Okay, product owner creates what? Creates user stories. What are these user stories? User stories are nothing but small chunks of requirements. Instead of giving the entire BRS document uh, containing all the requirements of the application, what the product owner will do is, product owner will create a small chunks of requirements known as user stories. Okay, small pieces of requirements you can say. All these user stories, the product owner will put into a bucket known as product backlog. Okay, all the user stories that are created by the product owner will be put into a bucket known as this kind. Let's say this is a bucket, and this is a bucket known as product backlog. Product backlog. Who will create this product backlog? The product owner will create the product on uh, product owner will create the product backlog in the product backlog. The product owner created user stories will be placed. Okay, and product owner will prioritize this user stories in the product backlog in the product backlog after adding the user stories into the product backlog. After adding the user stories, the product owner product owner will prioritize prioritize the stories in the product backlog, okay? In the product backlog, after adding the user stories, product owner adding the user stories to the product backlog, the product owner will prioritize the stories because all stories cannot be done at a time, right? So we can, uh, product owner will give some priorities, okay? So compared to other stories, different stories will get different priorities, okay? Fine. Then what next is, product owner will conduct a meeting, okay? After creating the user stories and after placing these user stories into the product backlog, after prioritizing the user stories in the product backlog, product owner will then conduct a meeting known as sprint planning meeting. Product owner will conduct a meeting known as sprint planning meeting, and this meeting will be conducted with the agile team. Okay, the agile team will contain consist of all uh, the team members, the team uh, that is development and testing team who are going to work on the these user stories who are going to work on these requirements as part of these iterations or sprints later. Okay, so before these stories are assigned to a particular sprint or iteration to get started with the work. Okay, before that happens, a sprint planning meeting will be conducted with the agile team by the product owner. Product owner will conduct this sprint planning meeting with the agile team where they will have a discussion. Product owner and the agile team will have a discussion on what stories can be completed by the end of this sprint. Okay. By the end of the next sprint, what stories can be completed? That kind of discussion will happen uh, at the end, guys. At the end of this particular uh, meeting, okay, all the stories will be provided with some, okay, finalized. All the stories which are okay discussed as part of this sprint planning meeting, right? Uh, for them, story points will be assigned. Okay, estimations how much time it will take okay based on that estimation some story points will be assigned by the product owner and the agile team confirmed by the agile team and agile team will accept okay agile team will accept some user stories so product owner will put some 
story is saying that okay this many story points are there for this user stories and these are the priorities for this user stories uh, can we complete this num this many number of uh, user stories having this many number of story points by the end of this sprint or not like that product owner will put the stories on the table then agile team has to do some r and d uh, about like uh, yeah whether the story points are correct or not whether they can really complete this user stories in time or not in the in the particular sprint or not they will decide they will discuss and at the end of the sprint agile team will accept the the list of user stories that they can complete by the end of the sprint now what the product owner will do after the agile team accepts uh, a list of user stories these accepted user stories will be moved from the product backlog to the sprint backlog. For every sprint, there will be a sprint backlog, separate sprint backlog. Okay. From the this particular product backlog bucket, the list of stories that are accepted by the agile team to be completed by the end of the sprint will be moved from the product backlog to the sprint backlog. Okay. A bucket which is there for the individual sprint. Okay. So this is what the product owner will do. Okay, product owner will move these stories, accepted stories by the agile team from the product backlog to the sprint backlog. Then what else the product owner will do after after removing the stories from the product backlog to the sprint backlog, the product owner will start the sprint. Will start the sprint. Okay. So once the product owner uh, flags the sprint to start, green flags the sprint to start, then the agile team will start working on the sprint. Okay. Agile team will start working on the sprint. Then agile team has started working on the sprint and uh, you see, let's assume that this is two weeks sprint. Okay, two weeks means 10 working days. So let's say 10 working days. 10 working days are there. Assume that these are the 10 working days. So by the end of the 10 working days, okay, when the sprint reaches its end, the agile team may complete the user stories, right? The required small chunks of requirement, the development and testing of these requirements or user stories will be done and uh, who will accept this user stories when can we end the sprint here is a twist so even though the work is done by the agile team that is developers and testers in the team uh, that all the requirements are developed and tested but that will not end the sprint before the sprint ends these user stories which are completed stated as uh, completed by the agile team need to be reviewed by need to be reviewed by the product owner again Okay, as part of which meeting, these user stories which are stated as complete, uh, stated as uh, completed by the agile team need to be reviewed by the product owner as part of which meeting that is called as sprint review meeting. As part of the sprint review meeting, okay, the product owner will review the stories that are stated as completed by the agile team. Once the product owner accepts these user stories, okay, once the product owner accepts user stories then only the sprint will be completed. Otherwise, sprint won't be completed, okay? So this is what is the process. Now let's, uh, after all this explanation, let's understand who is a product owner again, okay? Product owner is one of the roles in the projects which are following the Agile Scrum methodology. And product owner is the one who knows the business of the application very well. Why the product owner is creating the user stories, why the product owner is adding these user stories to this, the product backlog and uh, having a discussion with the team and then moving this uh, user stories from the product backlog to the sprint backlog then reviewing this user stories at the end of the sprint and all because the product owner knows the business very well okay business of the application very well who knows product owner that's why he is a point of contact for all the business needs of the application product owner is the one who interacts with the customers and uh, represent their needs as form uh, in the form of requirements in the project okay so how the product owner knows the business well because product owner generally interacts with the customers of uh, the real users of the application tomorrow okay such kind of people the product owner will interact so that the product owner knows the business very well that's the reason and represent their needs uh, of the application in the project in the form of user stories or requirements okay so then product owner as i already explained here product owner is the one who creates a who creates what product backlog Product owner is the one who writes the user stories and places these user stories into the product backlog. And then product owner is the one who prioritizes the user stories in the product backlog. Product owner is the one who conducts sprint planning with meeting with the agile team, where agile team need to accept the number of stories they can complete by the end of the sprint. Then uh, product owner is the one who moves the 
agile team accepted stories from the product backlog to the sprint backlog so that agile team can get started working when the sprint starts product owner is the one who starts the sprint so that the agile team can start working on the sprint uh, working on the stories which are assigned to the sprint product owner is the one who finally reviews the stories completed by stated as completed by agile team as part of sprint review meeting once the product owner accept this user stories which are demoed by this agile team to him okay then only the sprint will complete or end so this is what is the product owner guys so hope guys you got the answer for who is product owner in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye